Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is Anima Gate of Memories, the Nameless Chronicles. In our last episode, we made it into the fishing village, and we kind of went around and we got a few things. Got, I think, one, maybe two of his memories. We've got a few more to get, and they're going to be inside of here, behind this locked gate. And only women will enter from the youngest to the oldest. So, to get that code. And, you know, this is about the level of complexity I can handle when it comes to figuring out in game mechanics and such. You run around. Oh, she's 16, poor loss. Kind of depressing. Edward, 24. And there's multiple ones, and see, I wrote them down. So if you're lazy and you just want to uh, get the code yourself, this is the code. Nine. Sixteen. Fifty balls. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, come here. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't remember the thing being so hard. Whew. Oh, shit. I already took it. Okay. Which is all good. Now, the other thing in our last episode, in case you uh, want to change your character's abilities, your stats on your skill tree, it was called uh, the Chrono Sand. And I went through, did so, as well as basically farmed a little bit so I could get up to level 10. And I didn't use this. Death Incarnate. But I will in this next section. I moved a few things around. My guy's not too terribly difficult. And just to make things easy... What's up? This is Ephedria's mansion. The first witch. This place should not even exist here. As far as I know, she has no relation with Baal or with anything that is happening. You should leave. I do not want to see you here. So much anger. You should get some professional help. Do I have to remind you that I only want to lend a hand? Here's some advice. This place is full of mystic seals and protections. You will need masks equipped to those in front of the sealed doors if you want to be able to open them. Mm-hmm. Not a problem. So that's the first one. And the easiest way to get that is to come in here. This is just a normal looking room. And this room is a gate to the wake. From here I can move between the material and the spiritual plane. And there are some different references. Uh oh. This is the hand of death itself. But you can see death itself. Basically, what I did that super buff. 
was just that, a super buff. Now I wish... There we go, that's the guy. Come here. Would be nice. Uh oh, one left. I see you. The targeting was a little different. I don't know. Doesn't always automatically pop up. I mean, I almost wish it would uh, turn off, but there is something in here that we want. Right here, you can hit this in uh, either plane. Exterminator obtained. Let's see. Nope, don't want to put it there. Nope. So, the exterminator massively increases your crit. So, let's see. We lose some magic, but our crit and our defense would go way up. Crit up. Let's go with that for a while. All right. And just a quick note. Oh, they're not here this time. Okay. Well, normally there will be a mask that pops up here once you unlock one of the areas. So I am currently saving up for that. But if you come in here. And we couldn't get in there before because there was a gate on it. And you can see you can't get it really anywhere else. And you know, and it kind of sucks. I wish the devs would have used this mechanic more. Because, I mean, that's really the only thing that you can do with it. So now, we go back over here. And it's time to learn a little bit more about the Nameless. And the reason he doesn't want that other dude here, because this is him. This is uh, the memories we're going after are his. But it will also directly tie in to... Oh. oh! New sword. Ooh! Wow, look at the combats totally halved. And then of course we have the... Cav... I, the one I cannot pronounce. Let me see, kind of, boy, took my axe. All right. And now, the next mask. This is the hand of death itself. We warned you. We want you. You must not remember. Get 
get out of here, punk. <clears throat> but just wait, there's going to be so much more fun with that guy. And what are you? Ah, okay. Yeah, we'll need that in a certain section. And we will go that way soon. But this mask goes in a different spot. We ran right past it when we first came in. There's the next memory. Okay, living nightmare, new boss. Only way to beat this guy is to knock him down, and then you beat the hell out of him. There we go. And that's the way it is with some of the bosses, you have to do that. You have to knock them down before you can fight them. But don't worry, there's so much more to come. Okay, so I think we've got most of the memories now. But it is time to go somewhere else. This is the next spot. The Beach of Memories. And this is, I think, the fifth and final that we need. I know his name. And it's not what you think. So if you come back this way. And in probably the next video. We'll come down that way. But this way. We're back to the arcade room. Now there are a whole bunch of goodies in here. And it costs 20 thousand of the credits or whatever you want to call it to get in there all righty ladies and gents so there we go that's how you get all the or i should say the rest of the keys for the nameless so please like favorite and subscribe as always keep smashing that like button thank you so much for all the support you guys been throwing my way i definitely appreciate it we're just going to keep rocking and rolling till we get this one beat So please, keep your heads down, your bottle axes up, and I'll see you again over your damn sense.